Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting another reading vlog. I really hope you guys are enjoying these reading vlogs from this winter break. I really enjoy filming them so yeah we're there's not much else to say. We're gonna get into it. This week I'm going to be continuing a series which I was reading in my last couple of vlogs which is a Court of Thorns and Roses, which I, I think that's the name of the series. And then the book I'm reading is obviously A Court of Wings and Ruin. It's January 3rd today and I honestly only really have like three full days to attempt to read this book because I'm going on vacation, like a mini vacation, on Thursday. So I really only have, it's Monday today, so I only have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to attempt to finish this book. Kind of chunky, don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, so I guess we'll see. That's the that's the reading challenge for this week. Can I read this 700 page book in three days? Probably, but I don't know. I started it last night and I think I'm on page like 10. So as you can see, I've made a lot of progress and there's nothing to update on right now. But that's just what we're reading today. But right now I'm actually going to Barnes and Noble because I'm like literally always going to Barnes and Noble. Um, I actually need to return something and then I'm gonna pick up another book, which I need to get, um, you'll see in a bit. Um, so yeah, those are the plans for this morning. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna like maybe work on editing a video, but then I'm also going to read some more. So yeah, that's the plans for the day. Literally the only thing I got to doing in this book last night was, like I said, reading 10 pages. And I did the key. We have a nice, I hope this like works with, I'm trying to match the key to like the cover of the book-ish, kind of. Like it's hard because I can't just put like six different shades of pink, but I think it's kind of cute. <laughs> That's all I have done. And then like I said, I've read 10 pages and I did a bad drawing on one of them. Cute, right? <laughs> anyway. were a bit of a fail because Barnes Noble did not have the book I was looking for which is very upsetting so it's fine. I read a little bit more of Act of War when I got back home and then I am now dropping off some books to the library. I just dropped off three and the sad thing is I haven't read any of them <laughs> so um, I tried to. I tried to but I'm just not gonna get to them before I have to return them so they have to go back um, and then I have one other book to return which is at a different library which is like 20 minutes away because I went like out of my way to get this so now I have to go out of my way to return it so I'm gonna go do that and then I'm gonna go home and read some more. majority of the morning filming a book haul which filming like thumbnails for book hauls is literally like a damn workout my arms hurt <laughs> but that's not what I'm here to talk to you about because I am now up to page 164 of A Court of Wings and Ruin and I actually wrote down some thoughts for once um they're not very eloquent but they're there okay so one of the main things I was really enjoying in this book is you're following I mean, I guess I re can't really say too much. You're following um, some characters as they are trekking across like all of Prithian and you finally get to see like the um, fall court, which sounds so gorgeous and I would, I would love to see it. And then you also see the winter court, which I love winter, but it sounds a little brutal there. So maybe I'll skip out on that one this time. Overall though, I am really enjoying the beginning of this book. I think it's it's just so fun to see the ramifications of everything that happened at the end of A Court of Mist and Fury 
it's so good it's so um so much drama so much scheming so much betrayal i'm into it and then uh, the whole, my only qualm is right now i think the chapter that i'm in the middle of there's just doing like this whole big info dump and i'm so bored and i just need to power through it because the rest of the book is like so good but the, <laughs> there's always just chapters of like so much information and i'm like i don't care i want to see them make out <laughs> i don't know the plot is interesting but the way she's presenting it is not good it's just so much talking so much dialogue and it's not like interesting dialogue i mean i know it's necessary but i just don't like it <laughs> if we're being honest so like eh. the rest of the book like is really good but the she's done like a couple of like info dumpy chapters in the last couple books and they're so boring that's like my only qualm with this series so um yeah those are my thoughts on a court of wings and ruin thus far i'm gonna read some more today and well maybe later today probably tonight if we're being honest so yeah my hopes of finishing this before i leave are slowly dwindling um but if i don't finish it i'll just pick the vlog up when i get back so yeah that's that's what's up right now So I am now on page 309 of A Court of Wings and Ruin. So I'm really finally making some progress here. I'm almost 50% of the way through the book. So my hopes of potentially finishing this book before I leave on Thursday are still there. It's only like 7.30. So theoretically, you know, if I read a bunch tonight, I could almost get there. I don't know. I think there's like... 14 hours left on the audiobook and listening to it at like two times speed that'll only take uh seven hours why did that take me so long so yeah we'll see how that goes i don't really know i'm really hoping i can because i don't want to split this vlog over like two weeks because i want to read a quarter of frost and starlight when i get back and i'm gonna vlog that too so hopefully this can be like self-contained that's the goal. I mean, I have to pack and stuff, but I don't want to. So I'm just going to continue to read because I I just really want to finish this by tomorrow. I mean, I think I can. It's only 390 pages left. So, okay, that, that seems like a lot when I say it like that. Anyway, um, thoughts from the last time I updated you. It's good. I'm having a good time. I'm enjoying it a lot. It's getting very... Um, plot heavy i would say and we we know how i feel about plots not the biggest fan but i still enjoy the moments of seeing the characters relationships developing and just watching them grow closer which is nice um that's all i have to say i'm enjoying it it's pretty good not as good as a court of mist and fury but um we'll see how it wraps up i have heard that the end of this book is a little bit anticlimactic so um We'll see. Honestly, I don't really I don't really care about, you know, there being like this big giant fight at the end of the book where like someone dies but like they end up winning in the end. Like I don't care. If it could just be resolved peacefully with like a little treaty that they like sign, ideal. I just want to see more of the characters. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. I'm gonna go read some more.
Okay guys, it's Wednesday and I didn't think I'd be able to do it and I still haven't quite done it yet. But I think I'm going to be able to finish this before I leave tomorrow. So I'm so happy about that. I am now on page 567. So I only have like 140 pages to go. So obviously I'm going to be able to finish it, you know, today. I feel like I haven't updated you much on this book because I don't really know what to say without like, you know, big spoilers. So, um, things have happened. They're in the middle of a war. There's a lot of fine, a lot of injuries. Someone got kidnapped. It made me very upset. I'm still upset about it, but you know, they're working to get um, said person <laughs> back and I really like the way they're going about doing it. Honestly, I'm not liking this book as much as I was liking A Court of Mist and Fury. I'm still really enjoying it, but war scenes and like battle scenes don't really do it for me and they're not like, you know, heavy war and fighting, but it's still like not my favorite thing. I just really like the setup of Mist and Fury and this one is just too much fighting and war and politicking and it's you know, balanced out well with like seeing like the character interactions and whatnot, but like it's not enough. I'm still enjoying it a lot, like it's good, but just not as much as I enjoyed uh, the last one. Probably pretty on par for how A Court of Thorns and Roses was going for me, so not bad, not my favorite, probably feeling like a four stars on it because of plot. Like characters, fantastic, love them, but plot, not my favorite. I don't know. <laughs> like, I was enjoying the plot in the last one, but once they actually got into the war, I was like, ooh, I don't care. <laughs> Those are my thoughts right now. Getting to the end of it. I am interested to see how it wraps up, though. Because, like I said last night, I have heard that it's kind of anticlimactic, and I'm interested to see how I'm gonna feel about that, because I don't know if I necessarily mind. So, yeah. 140 pages to go. I'm gonna go to lunch, though and then I'm gonna come and read the rest of it. All right, so it's actually like a couple hours later and I went to Target while I was out and I got the best thing ever and basically I have to show you. I think I look ridiculous in these, but it's kind of funny. I was wearing them on the way home. I wasn't driving. I was like in the passenger seat, just like staring because it literally looks like I have um, entered into a hell region and honestly, kind of interesting. <laughs> but anyway. Um, now that I'm back, I'm going to read some more of A Court of Wings in Ruin. I think I said that was on page 567. So I only have 130 pages to go. I think I'm going to be able to finish it. That should only be like two and a half hours left of reading on my audiobook. So yeah, we're going to get into it. Okay, these really hurt my eyes. Oh, I wasn't going to last long anyway. page 652 of A Court of Wings and Ruin and big things are happening you know the final climax of the battle is going on and for once I'm interested to see where this goes I'm clearly gonna finish it today I cannot wait to see what happens in the last 50 pages of this book because I feel like it's gonna be good I mean I guess maybe it's not gonna be good I don't know I don't know we're gonna find out 50 pages left Oh, let's go. Well, 48 pages, I guess. <gasps> oh, I already love it. <laughs> oh, God, what is Farid doing? I don't like it. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, that's everything. That's amazing. I love that. love the conflict resolution here. Um, I love females wielding swords. So good. Just, it's just too elite. I just can't. <laughs> it's not funny, but it is. I just have a feeling that something good is about to happen. I'm on page 668 now. Ooh, something rather large just happened, which I know it doesn't actually happen, but like, 
you know, <laughs> I'm interested to see where this goes. Okay, I, I was right, something good is about to happen. No, no, it's too much. Oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> oh, but I love it. <laughs> All right, so I just finished it. And now I'm sad that it's over. Like, I know it's not over. I still have, like, you know, a quarter frost and starlight and silver flames, but, like, the actual trilogy is over, and now I'm sad. It's fine. It is, like, six days later, even though it's probably only been, like, three seconds for you, and I am indeed still wearing this sweatshirt. Um, we're just not gonna talk about it, though, <laughs> because today, um, I'm here to wrap up on my thoughts on A Court of Wings and Ruin, because I did not do that before I left even though I should have, because I've already forgotten like half of what happens in this book. That's just how it goes though, so it's fine. Um, I have done a little bit of research this morning and I it has jogged my memory, so we're all good now. And I've written down thoughts. I'm thinking for this little wrap up section, I'm gonna have like general thoughts and then I also wanna put in like some things that are kind of spoilery, so I hope some of you have read this because I just need to point some things out because there's just a couple of things in this book that I want to talk about like specifically so um yeah but I'll put that up on the screen when I end up doing that. So I'm thinking for this book I'm going to rate it a 3.75 or a 4. I'm not, I think on Goodreads I gave it a 4 already but I'm thinking about dropping it like a quarter star just because it's not like comparing it to my other 4 star books it's not quite there but like I still really enjoyed it. I'm just not sure. It, the thing is, it just pales in comparison to A Court of Mist and Fury. Like that book, I'm obsessed. I would go back and read it right now. I'm not going to, but I could. I just loved it that much. I think the main reason that I liked A Court of Mist and Fury more than this is because the pining, top tier, so good. See, the thing is, there's like an established relationship in this book, like, you know, it already happened. They already said they love each other, whatever that's fine. I generally just lose interest when there's an established relationship. I want to see them pining. I want to see them like, you know, pushing each other's buttons, flirting a little bit. Just like, you know, that kind of stuff. Like, I mean, I'm happy for them. Like, good for them. I love the pining. It's my favorite part and there's no pining. So relationship definitely better in a court of mist and fury, but I still like enjoy the relationship in this. It's just like I said, less interesting. This book started out so strong. I was enjoying it a lot. Like the ramifications of everything that happened in A Court of Mist and Fury that were happening in this book was so fascinating to me and I was eating it up. It was so good. I was like zooming through it, loved it. Um, but then it kind of like resolved itself and then we were very stagnant for a good portion of the middle of the book and then like the war happened and I was like whatever I don't care but I still enjoyed like the characters as opposed to like the plot you know which I'm not surprised because I absolutely adore these characters like they're so good I love all of them they really carry the book for me like if these characters were not you know who they were written how they were I would not be reading this series overall I enjoyed it but it is my least favorite of the three, I think. I even liked the first one more than I liked this one. So maybe that means it should get a 3.75 because I gave that one a four. So yeah, that general thoughts. Um, now I want to talk about spoilery thoughts because I need to, they just need to be said. Some things need to be said. First of all, can Sarah J Mass please stop using the word mate? I looked up a PDF of this book online and the word mate is used 196 times. And I'm gonna scream. Every time they'll be talking about each other, like, oh my god, my mate said this, or my mate looked at me, and I was like, bitch, just call him Reese. Like, we get it. We know who your mate is. You don't need to talk about it anymore. Like, just it's just how they keep referring to each other as my mate. Like, yeah, I get it, you're territorial. It probably comes with like being mates with somebody, but I just don't like it. Not a fan. It was just too much. And here's like the really big like spoiler thing that I wanna talk about is that someone like, the, I think the ending of this book would have made such a bigger impact had somebody died. 
Like, I know that, um, the, like, Farrah's father died in it, but, like, no one cares about him. Like, he's absent for, like, all of the book. Literally, he's there for, like, two seconds, and he's like, oh, bye. Peace and out of life, I guess. Like, I don't know, he's mentioned briefly, there's, like, my father is, you know, off on business. And I get, like, he was doing something, like, really nice for them, kind of redeeming himself as a father, but also, like, generally I don't care about him. I feel like not maybe the like Farah or her sisters or like I feel like somebody like more or Amran should have died or like gone back to her dimension or whatever the fact that she crawled back out of the pot I was like this is such a cop out why is she still here don't get me wrong I love Amran nobody died everything's fine it's just like a happy ending and you know I like a good happy ending but also I feel like something really big needed to happen in this book because this is like you know a huge war that was going on and like nobody that I cared about died which you know you would think is a good thing but I just think it needed to make that impact and it didn't but as far as characters I like specifically I am so happy that Lucian got the character arc that he did because I was really hoping he was not gonna stick with Tamlin the whole time and be an asshole he followed Feyre he went with her and now I cannot wait to see what the whole sitch with him and Elaine and I mean, I feel like I don't think they end up together. I kind of hope they do, though. Is that an unpopular opinion? I really like them together. Like, I don't know. I just want Lucian to have the best in life. I like him a lot. <laughs> also, I generally like Tanlin's character arc as well. The fact that he helped her out in the end. I was like, aw. Cute. It doesn't really make up for what he did. Um... But you know, it's a start, I suppose. <laughs> Lastly, for the characters, I loved Nesta and Cassian in this book so much. Uh, their relationship, I just think I'm going to eat it up. I'm so excited to read A Court of Silver Flames. Hopefully I can get to it like really soon. I think I'm gonna read it maybe next week or something. Might film a reading vlog for it. So we can only hope that I go through with that. And yeah, I just, uh, I didn't really like Nesta at first because you know, she was a little, She's a little hard to um, get along with. Like, understandably, she's been through it. Don't get me wrong. But like, it's a bit much sometimes. But still, I love the dynamic between the two of them. I just love them. A Court of Silver Flame is gonna be so good. I'm so excited. So that might've been all over the place, but those are uh, my general thoughts on this book. This series has become one of my new favorite series. It has been added to the list. I'm obsessed. I will be reading it again at some point. Um, or maybe I'll just read A Court of Mist and Fury again. That book was so good. This one was like okay too, but no one's better. But you know, um, I think we all feel the same way about it. So yeah, I, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit lighter on like my actual thoughts throughout it because I was really rushing to finish this book, but I finished it and now I can start A Court of Frost and Starlight. I think I'm gonna start it today, I'm so excited. Let me know what your favorite out of the series is. I think I asked this question in a recent vlog of mine, but now I can actually give you my answer um, because A Court of Mist and Fury is my favorite, obviously. But if you like this one more, let me know why. I'd love to know why. That is the vlog. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.